pizza. So I have my ingredients, I have flour, some baking powder, baking soda, salt, cheese, marinara sauce, some Italian seasoning, and some pepperoni. And we're gonna start off today, we're gonna be doing four tablespoons of flour. So as you can see, I'm just gonna use the knife so that I try to get an exact tablespoon. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to have an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. And I don't have an, an eighth teaspoon, so I'm just gonna do half of this, one fourth. So I have my baking powder right here. I'm just kind of guess half. Okay. All right. Next thing, I need 1 16th teaspoon of baking soda, which is about a fourth of this, so I'm really gonna guess here. And then finally, I'm going to have an eighth teaspoon of salt, which is again, half of this. All right, then I'm going to mix it all up with my whisk, and this beautiful whisk Miss Judy gave me, and I absolutely love it. It's one of my most favorite utensils. Okay. Now, once we mix that up, we're going to add three tablespoons of milk and one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to be moving a couple things out of the way though before I add my milk and my olive oil because I don't want to spill anything. Sorry, my dog's loud. All right, so we said three tablespoons of milk. I'm gonna do my best to be careful here. There's one, two, three. So you guys, when you do this with your parents or your mom, have lots of fun, because it's something really enjoyable. I know I like to cook with my kids when I get a chance. Two of them like to cook, one does not, so. It is a good together time. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. And now we're gonna mix that up. And it might be a little bit lumpy after you mix it up, but that's okay. If it has a few lumps in it. Okay. And this is our pizza dough right here. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one tablespoon of marinara sauce. Now my marinara sauce is going I is going to look a little bit chunky, and that's because I put a cooked sausage in there ahead of time. So I just do the sausage with the marinara sauce. So I will bring that closer and you can see that. All right, so here is my tablespoon of marinara sauce. You can tell it's pretty thick, and again, this is my sausage. I'm gonna add that and just pump it around a little bit. Then, I'm gonna add my cheese. So just kind of be generous if you like cheese. There's no specific amount. If you like extra cheese, add a little extra cheese. All right, then my recipe calls for five mini pepperonis. I don't have many, I have the regular size, so I like pepperoni, so we're just gonna add some extra pepperoni. I did four big ones. Three actually fits the best, but I did four big ones, so that's my extra. And then finally, this is some um, dried Italian herbs, and it gives your your food a little extra flavor here. So I'm gonna put that on my pizza, or excuse me, yep, on my pizza. And then I'm gonna place it in the microwave for about a minute, 10 seconds to a minute, 20 seconds. It depends on your microwave. So you want to just kind of keep watching it, but you want it to kind of start to rise up and look bubbly. 
So I am going to put it in the microwave and we'll see how it turns out. Here is our microwavable mug pizza. It's nice and bubbly, a little brown, so it does look good. Hope you enjoyed making it today or watching me make it. Hope you try it. Okay, have a great day. Again, thanks for joining me and I hope you had fun. And pretty soon we'll be able to see each other again at the Creek Public Library. Bye-bye.